Welcome to AutoCAD Civil 3D 2010 for Land Surveyors, brought to you by EricColburn.com, Professional Land Surveyor Source. This video is AutoCAD Civil 3D 2010 Parcel Copy and Merge Part 1. This is a two-part video series on creating parcels and copying them between sites. The objective of this video is to create two parcels and place them in two separate sites. Then we will rename the parcels. In the second video of this series is where we will copy the parcels into a third site and merge two parcels together into one parcel. In the drawing you can see two parcels, lot one in green and lot two in magenta. For this example, lot one has been fully surveyed and a portion of lot two, which you'll see in a minute, identified as parcel A is to be taken from lot 2 and added into lot 1. And you can see here that's going to re be represented by the area of red labeled A. So if you look on the left side of the drawing you'll see I've created three sites existing which is going to be the surveyed lot one, merger, which is going to be the parcel A, which is coming out of lot two and being transferred into lot one, and then revised site is going to be the combination or the, the now reshaped lot one to include the existing lot one plus parcel A out of lot two, presenting lot one. In the ribbon at the top of my screen, it might be different on your screen, on the Home tab, I'm going to select Parcel. In the drop-down list, I'm going to select Create Parcel from Objects. And for Lot 1, I've already created a, and Parcel A, I've already created a, a polyline representing its boundary. So I'm going to select that, right-click, hit Enter, and change the site to Existing. Uh, for now, I'm going to leave the property style alone and just leave it on my parcel style called property. And I'm going to select automatically add segment labels and select erase existing entity so that polyline will be erased once the parcel is created. Click OK. And you can see lot one. And I'm going to erase the big label for now. And on the left side, again, in the tool space, I'm going to expand the existing site parcels, and you'll see property one. I'm going to right click on that and select properties for that. I'm going to click use name and template and parcel style. So I'm going to turn that off, and now I can change the name where it said property one. I'm just going to call that lot one and I'm going to hit apply okay and you can see that the name now has been changed um, the label style for this shows square feet and acres but you can change all of that around to your likes okay now I'm going to do the same thing for parcel A I'm going to go back to the ribbon on the home tab select the parcel drop down list create parcel from objects and I'm going to click the polyline for parcel A. Hit enter. Going to change the site to merger. If these two parcels were on the same site, they would interact with each other, which is good if that's what you intend to do. But in this case, I find that when you're working with uh, existing and proposed lots together, it's better to keep them on separate sites so that they don't interact with each other. And I'm going to erase all entities and automatically add segment labels. Select OK. And you can see now that it's created a parcel there. Again, back in the tool space, I'm going to minimize existing, expand merger site, parcels, 
right click on what it says property one click on properties deselect use name template and parcel style and I'm just going to call that parcel a apply okay and again I don't need this giant label anymore I'm gonna get rid of the big A so now I have one parcel for lot one created and that's on an existing site I have another parcel for parcel A which is on what I call the merger site this AutoCAD Civil 3D 2010 for land surveyors video has been brought to you by EricColburn.com, the professional land surveyor source.